Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lots to tell you to talk about the fact that Trick or Treasure is coming back. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a revival coming for it. Um, that's weird. That's really weird. Mainly because it's June, and it's coming back June 18th, so basically after uh, this event basically is over. So we got one, two, three, four months early. Um... That's that's crazy. I think that means that we're probably going to be getting a brand new Halloween event. Uh, now let's talk about what is potentially going to happen. Here's one of two things that I think is going to happen. Uh, a solo banner that has Halloween Ellie, um, Halloween Althema, and Halloween Butler. Man, I can't remember his name right now. Um, will become available. Uh... Which would probably be one of the worst banners to ever pull on. Uh, because I also think that this is a very good chance that all these units are just going to be added to the general pool. Because it's been long enough. There's no reason for any of these characters to be... Um, they're too old and they're not the greatest ever. Now here's the thing. is that what I, From what I remember from Trick or Treasure when it came back. It came back as a new event but it was called something different. That was the one where Mim was on it. So... I don't know if they're going to do a banner similar to that, where it's going to have Halloween Mim and Halloween Loen and uh, Martimus, but I have a feeling they're not going to do that. They're going to wait till actual Halloween to do maybe a rerun of that banner first, and they're just going to have these three. So under the assumption that it's just these three, we're going to look at what those three units are, and then I'll actually give a, maybe a more detailed thought process of whether or not you should summon. So let's go here. Uh, my Ellie's right here. Let's go here. Okay, Sacred Maiden. Deals light damage to the enemy directly ahead and activates skill shift. If the attack connects, phase two increases the entire team's strength. While phase three adds health restoration, skill shift ends when you connect again during phase two. Mischief Maker. Deal light damage to the enemies directly ahead and fills the user's skill gauge if the t attack connects. By the way, if you end up liking this video, you should leave a like. I forget about that all the time. Next. Co-op ability is HP 15%. Her chain co-op ability is light above 10 hits, strength 13%. She gives skill damage 30%. Curse resistance 100%. Engage acceleration 35%. Um, and I think that's basically it. Ellie um, really is kind of showing her age at this point. Um, I want to say back, definitely back in the day, she was definitely a strong unit worth having. Right now, in the current, she's like maybe the worst Ellie, I think. Let me see. Probably be go. it would go regular Ellie, Gala Ellie, Bride Ellie, this Ellie, um, um, Halloween Ellie, Ellie. That does not mean to say that I think she's not worth having, because I love the fact that I have her. Look at this amazing costume. Yeah, look at that. Who doesn't want- wow, okay. Who doesn't want that? I didn't know that she had a bunny tail in the back. That's interesting. I'm gonna look away from that. Give her some. Give her some room back there. Um, all right, let's go on to the other units. Althema. Let's see, she's a healing unit. Sweet Treat restores HP to all allies. Bitter Treat deals light damage to the surrounding enemies, and restores the user's HP by five percent if damage is inflicted. Recover potency 8%. Light paralysis equals user's critical rate 7%. Skill prep 75%. Skill resistance 100%. Full HP equals strength 10%. I have a really... Oh, it's going to be a real bummer. Because I really think that they might... I um, actually don't know why she has... She's a very weird healer. Now that I look at it, she's... This needs to do more. Well, no, because it deals damage. Yeah, hmm... She's a very weird healer because she's a very attack focused healer. Um, the problem is, is that when they do, let's say, mana spirals, full HP equals strength, whatever. All that happens is that they get more strength, but the full HP stack kind of doesn't leave. Maybe it's a little bit easier to keep full HP with a healing unit, but I don't know. It's not the best thing in the world. And now we'll go on to the last dude, Edward. That's right, I remembered his name at the last second. Vampire Slash. He's the he's actually the four, by the way. Althema is the three, which is why her kid is so like bare bones. 
I say as I look at this guy. Deals light damage to enemies directly ahead. Nightmare Walt deals light damage to surrounding enemies and restores the user's HP by 2% for damage inflicted. Strength, um, it's not 1%, I just don't have him fully <laughs> uh, powered up. It might be 10% at the end. Um, he gets curse resistance 75%, and once you get him fully done, full HP equals strength 10%. That's another issue with this guy. Yeah, he has the same issue as Ultima, only way worse because he's actually a blade unit going in there. Um, I like, there is actually one other unit that we need to talk about that came out for um, Halloween, and that is ha Halloween Silk. Uh, Pumpkin Prank deals light damage to surrounding enemies and reduces their strength by 50%. Light and HP strength 20%, and she's a 4 star um, for Halloween Dragon. So those are the units for Halloween. Um, not good. Not good by any stretch of the imagination. Like, I cannot stress enough that if it's the banner is only those four characters, there is absolutely absolutely no reason for you to summon not when there's potentially a gala banner it could happen at any time and i'm also half convinced that the next gala banner might actually be um these four units plus a gala unit um they might try and do that similar to what they did to journey to the west it might be a little bit too soon but they've already said that gala banner is going to be at a weird times from now on so it's kind of hard to realize like how are we going to move forward now here's the thing, what would make that banner worth summoning on is if these units were added. I don't have him, but one is Halloween Martimus, he's a Dragon 5, I never was able to pull him. The next one is Halloween Loen, who is still the best fire healer. You could, and I'm saying specifically fire healer, uh, because Grace is the all around just fantastic healer for basically every team in the world because of her weird shield thing. But in terms of fire healer, there's only really one that everyone uses and wants when they specifically want a healer for fire, and that's Loen. The reason is that we got skill 1, restores HP to all allies, continues healing over the next 15 seconds, and increases the entire team's defense by 10% for 5 seconds. Here's a treat for you, restores HP to all allies and increases the entire team's max HP by 10% and the remainder of the quest for the remainder of the quest. Once HP buff reaches the limit, the HP recovery effect is granted instead. Recovery potency is 20%. Flame HP is 60% equals strength 5%. Skill prep um, 75%. Sleep resistance 100%. Force charge 3. Fills 25% of the skill gauge when the user force strikes connects up to 3 times per quest. And that's Lowen. He's fantastic. He's still very good. He's one of the very few um, units that he's almost a year old and he doesn't need a mass spiral at all because what he does is still good no matter what he's still using master volk um i actually don't know that but i assume uh the reason i say like oh he would still be used for master volk is that i think i'm try currently trying to use obviously it depends on team comp but if a team comp requires a healer then it's either between ha halloween lowen or it's grace um with halloween lowen being i think a little bit easier to build up maybe easier to get i would say easier to get but then i remember he is a limited four from the banner um that's right he's four i specifically made sure he was five stars so i could get the maximum amount of healing out of him um he's great the other unit that's uh great but it gets overshadowed by halloween alone by a large amount is where is she where is she where's my girl i know there she is halloween mim Charming Trick deals flame damage to the enemy directly ahead and creates a debuff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and reduces the defense of enemies by 15%. Tempering Fancy increases the strength of flame attuned adventurers in the team by 20% for 15 seconds and activates Dream Boost for 15 seconds. During Dream Boost, the user's critical rate is increased by 5%. Critical damage 30%. Flame Dragon Haste 20%. Flameworm Sweet Nocturne reduces susceptibility to burning by 100%. When shapeshifting, Mim will transform into Brunhilde, regardless of what dragon she is equipped with, and her attack rate while shapeshift will increase by 15%. Stun resistance 100%. Draconic Dream 3, uh, 2, increases defense while shapeshift by 100%. When the Dream Boost effect is active, add 20% to the modifier applied to damage while in dragon form. And she's fantastic. Even when you don't use her yourself, 
Um, she's good to have on bench because of the flame uh, dragon haste 20% and critical damage up by 30%. So really, what I'm trying to say here is, is that unless these Halloween units get mana spirals that somehow catapult them straight to the top of light DPS, there's absolutely no, 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 no reason to summon on the Halloween banner. Um, and I says that as someone who loves Halloween Althema, is okay with Halloween Edward, and uh, loves Halloween Ellie. So it's just very hard to justify pulling on them. Um, they need mana spirals. There's just no way around it. They need mana spirals, and I hope that this event coming early means they're getting mana spirals, because they sure as hell need it. But yeah, that's my general thoughts on it. And again, if the only way I would see it, if there's no mana spirals for him, the only reason to summon is if this boy is on here. Mim, I love her. Wrong Mim. Mim, 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 where are you, girl? Mim, I love her too. Um, but she's harder to get. Lowen is, Lowen. Lowen's much easier to get. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I just want to talk about that. How weird is it that Halloween's coming up? It's been a weird year that Halloween's here four months early. Um, but yeah, that's it. Tell me what you think. Comment about how you feel about Are you going to just not listen to what I say and go summon for it? And if you do, I wish you the best of luck. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut, man. I can't control your gut. So if your gut says summon, summon. Hey, I won't hold it against you. Um, yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.